You can't say Gen AI right now without talking about Microsoft. So we're fortunate to be joined today by Microsoft's General Manager for Modern Work in Retail and Consumer Goods, Jeff Strasser, to give us five insightful minutes on how top retailers are leveraging the technology now, and more importantly, where they should be in the future. Jeff, retailers are stressed dealing with supply chain disruptions, labor availability, changing customer expectations, just to name a few, and all during an inflationary climate. Where is Gen AI having the most impact when helping retailers tackle these challenges right now? Thanks, Chris. Yeah, so many challenges and so many opportunities. And that's the great thing about generative AI is it's a set of tools that can help from product development through manufacturing and supply chain all the way out into the customer experience and the frontline experience to bring all this data together to make people more efficient and productive in their decision making and uh, and ultimately how they're supporting their customers, which of course is the most important. Um, in fact, in our early data working with early generative AI customers using the Microsoft 365 Copilot solution, 70% uh, of those users are already saying that they're more productive using these tools. 68% are saying it's improved the quality of their work and almost 30% that they're completing work faster. That gives us the ability to do more and do better work with the people that we have and, uh, and ultimately deliver a more cost-effective uh, set of services and products to our customers. Well, Jeff, there's no doubt that Gen AI is helping improve multiple areas of a retailer's business, like you just said, but it's still new. There's a lot of retailers who are still having concerns about some of the vulnerabilities that this could expose. Um, how does Copilot for Microsoft 365 really help ensure that data privacy, that security that the retailers and brands want? Yeah. So the great thing about Copilot in Microsoft 365 is that it only has access to the data that you have access to. Uh, mm -hmm. And the benefit there is, uh, you know, it's here to do your work, but it's not able to reach out and get insights and information on things that you shouldn't know about. And the tools that are built into the platform and built into the Microsoft security platform are able to use AI to secure that content and, uh, and make sure it's used in the appropriate manner. Those security tools actually even move into securing the environment as a whole. So bringing AI into cybersecurity, where we can use AI to automate a lot of what analysts are doing today so they can mm -hmm. really do deep dive investigations into protecting the environment without having to dig through huge troves of information that are impossible to keep up with without tools and AI supporting them. So Jeff, if I extrapolate in the future, kind of what you're saying here is like, if it's not already, Gen AI has the potential to become kind of the foundational building block of quote unquote, a, the store of the future, a term we love here at OmniTalk. So I'm curious though, as we think about it from that lens, is there a retail or a brand that's nailing its application right now? So companies like Mars, Domino's, Starbucks, just to name a few examples uh, that we're working with today. And it's early days setting that long-term strategy. With Mars specifically, uh, we're working together with them on an AI lab that will focus on how they streamline their own internal operations, uh, better predict what customers are looking for, case trends, and help them guide product development. Uh, all, then moving into the manufacturing space, working with, uh, with Mars on bringing AI into man the manufacturing environment uh, through uh, both generative AI, cloud, edge technology, digital twins to, to provide digital clones of the supply chain uh, to simulate different scenarios and opportunities. And then uh, finally, over the next two years, Mars is actually going to be working on an entirely new cloud platform, uh, inclusive of new applications, data, and artificial intelligence to lay this foundation for the fa factory of the future. And uh, mm. that'll include robotics, AI, automation, and make the organization that much more efe efficient and, uh, uh, and contribute to their sustainability goals, reducing waste, emissions, uh, be a better steward uh, with when it comes to water usage. Uh, so much opportunity using data and using AI uh, from product development all the way through manufacturing and the supply chain. I love about that example, that Mars example, is that that's just where AI, Gen AI has taken us in the last few months since you started using it with your partners. What's next? Like, I mean, where, what are some of those other retailers that you're, or brands that you're working with? Where do they plan to take it in the future? Yeah. So it's really going to be across, uh, across every part of the customer life cycle, product and customer life cycle. So Domino's, as I mentioned, is another great example. We're working with them on a number of solutions using the Microsoft Cloud, using Azure OpenAI, which is bringing those large language models into Azure to 
fully transform how uh, how Domino's customers order and order uh, pizza and how it's processed and brought to them, even down to the store managers, hmm. where they're where they're currently building a generative AI assistant. Also, you know, back on the back end, using Azure OpenAI and the large language models to help store managers um, manage their schedules, manage their store environment, manage their ingredient ordering, inventory uh, more efficiently, which is so critical, especially, got Chris, as you mentioned, back when it comes to labor shortages uh, and, um, uh, you know, and, and all the challenges that retailers are associated with. And then finally, uh, also with Domino's, using generative AI to be able to uh, to help support a lot of those operational functions within the stores so managers can work more directly with their employees, uh, hopefully uh, driving higher retention rates, which are, of course, a huge um, cost to the business uh, when we're turning over employees within frontline retail. Oh my God, such a great example. Back to my store manager days, think about generative AI and the application of scheduling my team. Totally blowing my mind, Jeff. That was awesome. Thank you.